What's good, YouTube and Division fans? This is Sessional Sincere here, and I'm back with another Tom Clancy's The Division Vendor Reset video. We're here for November 15, 2019's reset. So let's get right into this and see what we got good for this week. Okay, so for our first gear items, we're gonna head over to Camp Hudson. Here, the weapons vendor has a pro red dot sight with 19% crit hit damage, 3% crit hit chance, and 2% accuracy. Okay, and for our next year items, we're going to head over to the base of operations. Here, the special equipment vendor has a tactical Super 90 SBS if you still like to run shotguns. I would definitely use something like this for some PVE missions with a striker build, but uh, this particular one here has a gear score of 262. Um, it has 307.50% stagger, and the talents it has is deadly, predatory, and responsive. Also here, we got a SOCOM MK20 SSR with a gear score of 270. It has 150% headshot damage, and the talents it has is fierce, destructive, and deadly. Also here we got a tactical vest with the talent reckless on there, with a gear score of 275. It has 1,991 armor. It's rolled for stamina, 1,224. And uh, attributes it has is health, exotic damage resilience, and ammo capacity. Also here we got a tyrant suppressor with 7.50% crit hit chance, 2.50% stability, and 4% crit hit damage. For our next gear item, we're gonna head over to the cavern. Here, the gear vendor has a tactical pack with the talent inventive on there, with a gear score of 275. It has 1,300 armor. It's rolled for electronics, 1,181. And the attributes it has is stability and ammo capacity. And then also here, we got a prototype performance mod with 5.50% first aid self-heal. For our next gear item, we're going to head over to Camp Clinton. Here, the special equipment vendor has a Historian with a gear score of 260. It has 150% headshot damage. And the talents it has is competent, brutal, and then you already know the third talent, Historian repeats. Also here, we got a tactical SASG 12K with a gear score of 265. It has 294.50% stagger, and the talents it has is ferocious, responsive, and deadly. Also here we got a gunslinger vest with the talent rapid on there with a gear score of 276. It has 1,969 armor. It's rolled for electronics, 1,176. And the talents, it, I'm sorry, the attributes it has is all resistance and exotic damage resilience and increased Let's kill XP. Also here we got a prototype performance mod oh, with 5% support station healing speed. And also here we got a heavy magazine spring with 2.50% crit hit chance, 4% crit hit damage, and 9.30% rate of fire. For our next gear item, we're going to head over to Dante's Run. Here the gear vendor has a prototype performance mod with 4% ballistic shield damage. For our next gear item, we're going to head over to Autumn's Hope. Here the gear vendor has a prototype performance mod with 4% turret damage. For our next gear item, we're going to head over to Madison's Stand. Here the gear vendor has a spec ops pack with a talent inventive on there. It has a gear score of 273. The armor is 1,220. It's roll for electronics, 1,255 and the attributes it has is critted damage and ammo capacity. For our next gear item, is gonna head over to the South Paul. Here the gear vendor has a tactical pack with the talent inventive on there with a gear score of 272. The armor is 1,195. It's roll for electronics, 1,267. And attributes it has is stability and disrupt resistance. And then also here we got a prototype stamina mod with 267 stamina and 1% crit hit chance. I'm going to cash me out a bunch of these because uh, mines are 266, so these will work. For our next gear item, we're going to head over to the firewall. Here the gear vendor has a prototype stamina mod with 186 stamina and 3% damage to elites. For our next gear item, we're going to head over to the crypt. Here the weapons vendor has a tactical Super 90 SBS with a gear score of 266. It has 302.50% stagger. And the talents it has is Unforgiven, Swift, and Deadly. For our next gear item, is going to head over to West 31st Street Checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone vendor has an Operator Mask with the talent Enduring on there. It has a gear score of 266. Its armor is 897. Its roll for firearms, 1,133. And the attributes it has is Enemy Armor Damage and Disorientant Resistance. For our next gear item, is going to head over to West 39th Street Checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone vendor has a heavy magazine spring 
with 12% magazine size, 4.50% reload speed, and 11.20% rate of fire. For our next gear item, we're going to head over to West 42nd Street Checkpoint. Here, the Dark Zone vendor has a tactical pack with the talent Relentless on there. It has a gear score of 275. Its armor is 1,283. Its roll for firearms is 1,220. And the attributes it has is stability and bleed resistance. And then also here, we have an extended magazine with 112% magazine size, 4% crit hit damage and 3% crit hit chance. For our next gear item, we're gonna head over to West 46th Street Checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone vendor has an operator mask with the talent Tenacious on there. It has a gear score of 260. The armor is 870. It's roll for electronics 1,131. And attributes it has is health on kill and increased kill XP. And then also here we got a prototype firearms mod with 265 firearms and 2,978 health. For our next gear item, we're gonna head over to West 53rd Street Checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone vendor has a prototype electronics mod with 265 electronics and 3% skill haste. And then also here we got a pro red dot sight with 19% crit hit damage, 2.50% stability, and 5.50% headshot damage. For our next gear item, we're gonna head over to East 61st Street Checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone weapon mod vendor has a tyrant suppressor with 7%, 7.50% crit hit chance, 2% accuracy, and 4% crit hit damage. And then also here we got a 552 hollow sight with 7.50% crit hit chance, 2.50% stability, and 4% crit hit damage. For our next gear item, we're gonna head over to East 58th Street Checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone gear vendor has a tactical pack with the talent inventive on there. It has a gear score of 275. Its armor is 1,267. Its roll for electronics, 1,236. And the attributes it has is stability and ammo capacity. For the next gear item, we're gonna head over to East 46th Street Checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone vendor has a Spec Ops mask with the talent Tenacious on there. It has a gear score of 272. The armor is 879. Its roll for firearms, 1,254 and attributes it as a skill power and disoriented resistance. For our next gear item, we're gonna head over to East 42nd Street Checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone vendor has a Spec Ops mask with the talent Tenacious on it. It's just a Tenacious winning weekend here, but um, this one has a gear score of 276. The armor is 922. It's rolled for firearms, 1,270, and attributes it as is exotic damage resilience and disoriented resistance. For our next gear item, we're going to head over to East 40th Street Checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone vendor has a Spec Ops mask with the Talon Enduring on there with a gear score of 274. Its armor is 953. Its roll for stamina, 1,213. And the attributes this has is enemy armor damage and burn resistance. For our next gear item, we're going to head over to East 34th Street Checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone vendor has an Omega Rifle Suppressor with 18.50% headshot damage, 5% optimal range, and 3% crit hit chance. For our next gear item, we're gonna head over to DZ2 safe room. Here the Dark Zone gear vendor has a Spec Ops armor with the talent Rapid on there. It has a gear score of 269. The armor is 1,839. It's roll for electronics, 1,147. And the attributes it has is skill haste, health, and increased kill XP. And then also here we got an operator pack with the talent inventive on there. It has a gear score of 266. The armor is 1,188. It's roll for electronics, 1,221. And attributes it has a skill power and bleed resistance. For our next gear item, we're gonna head over to DZ5 safe room. Here the Dark Zone weapon mod vendor has a pro red dot sight with 19% crit hit damage, 4.50% optimal range, and 3% crit hit chance. For our next gear item, we're gonna head over to DZ8 safe room. Here the Dark Zone gear vendor has a gunslinger vest with the talent Vigorous on there. It has a gear score of 284. Its armor is 1,971. Its roll for electronics, 1,264. And the attributes it has is all resistance, exotic damage resilience, and increased kill XP. All right, everybody, that's it for our Tom Clancy's The Division Vendor Reset video for November 15th, 2019's Reset. I want to thank everybody who tuned into it. Thank you for that support. Thank you to everybody who dropped a like. Thank you to everybody who 
has subscribed, I appreciate that support. If you're new to the channel, I appreciate you hitting that uh, thumbs up button and the subscribe button for that support. I appreciate that. And I will holler at y'all with the next one, everybody. Take care. Peace.